The centers for the Gerber Daisy are really easy to make. It's just rolled strips of fringe. To get it started, fold the first tab of fringe in half. It makes it smaller and easier to start. Add a thin bead of glue along the bottom. As you roll, keep it tight and even. I like to hold it between my thumb and forefinger to help keep it even. I'm using a 65 pound cardstock. That's a lightweight cardstock. It has some nice body, but it's still easy to work with and fold. This is the weight you typically get if you pick up a pack of cardstock at the craft store. After rolling a few strips, place the center on the table and wrap the strips around it. It makes it easier to keep the fringe even. Try to start each strip of fringe at the end of the preceding strip. Things will start to go faster as the roll gets larger. I've used 24 strips for this flower, which was a 19 inch Gerber daisy. If you want a smaller flower, use fewer strips, and of course you can use more for a larger center. Adding one last strip to this particular center, so this is strip number 24. Now that all the strips are rolled, run your fingers over the fringe and fold the tabs down at the outer edge. Continue to run your thumb over the fringe to fan out the tabs. You're going for a sort of flat mushroom shape. Once you're satisfied with the shape, you're done and you're ready to add this to the center of your Gerber daisy. If you haven't already downloaded the template, you can find the patterns for the Gerber daisy and other crafts at especiallypaper.com.